What happened here, according to the city of Lakewood, is what they were worried about. Entirely preventable. According to Pierce County court documents, the incident happened at Vision's adult family home. Investigators say 54-year-old John Quatorio was arguing with a 57-year-old when Quatorio punched the victim using a mug as a fist, striking him in the eye. The victim was taken to Madigan Army Medical Center where he later died. I'm concerned about the people who live in those homes as well as the neighbors around them. State Senator Steve Oban says he believes Quatorio did not belong in the Visions facility, part of his ongoing fight with DSHS. But they've been continuing to put uh, people with a violent past into these adult family homes. They're designed for seniors and people with severe disabilities, not for people with violent past. Well, the city of Lakewood's been loudly sounding the alarm for years now, and DSHS has been tone deaf. Lakewood Mayor Don Anderson says the city found Quatorio was previously committed to Western State Medical Hospital and believes the adult family home was not prepared to safely house him. There are about 3,000 adult family homes statewide. It's really an unspeakable tragedy because a man has died and it was totally avoidable. It's totally anticipated. When you co-mingle violent felons and sex offenders with the most vulnerable people in the world, your elderly grandmother, your dis developmentally disabled sister, this is bound to happen. It's obviously a fiscal move. It's, it's a chief place to offload people from Western State who uh, aren't ready to be out in the community. And they say the victim's life is now a much greater cost, which is why they want the state to reassess who can be housed at these facilities. We can't have this, we shouldn't have this. Um, my constituents are alarmed as they should be. And maybe this will give the department pause and they'll stop doing this and protect people in my district. We, we get no action. Doesn't matter what the words are, we get no action. In Lakewood, Michael Crow, King 5 News. So we did reach out to DSHS tonight. Uh, department officials noted that several hundred placements have been made at such homes over the past year and a half and that incidents are rare. I mean, while the owner of the facility was not there to comment when we stopped by.